I went into nursing because I've known from the very beginning that I want to help people. I love the thrill you get from a call. I love uh, being able to help people, being able to help them out when they're in their most dire of need sometimes. I knew that it was something that I could achieve because I was so passionate about it. I feel like I'm truly not serving a purpose in my life unless I'm at least somehow caring for people and that's why I chose nursing. Universities throughout the nation continually struggle with the need to keep their educational product relevant to today's students and the needs of the health professions. New technologies, an explosion of information, and ever-changing evidence-based practice patterns all impact on how future healthcare providers will be educated. The one thing that nurse educators can agree upon is the insufficiency of clinical environments available to nursing programs. This is one of the major reasons nursing schools must tightly limit the number of students they can accept at any given time. We have a limited clinical area. We have a limited clinical opportunity. Students often need the opportunity to practice. In clinical situations, it's difficult sometimes to have the right experiences available. We can't program patients to have a heart attack at any given time or gastrointestinal problems at any given time. The nursing lab is a mannequin that doesn't react, it doesn't give you any feedback on what happened, why it was happening. Currently within the program at Lake Superior State University for Paramedic Technology, we use a combination of mannequins and students fulfilling the roles of patients. The mannequins that we currently use for practicing of skills are very entry-level mannequins in comparison to what is actually out there currently that we could be utilizing within the program. During our simulations now, we have an instructor tell us that a patient's sweating or bleeding, and we have to pretend that they're actually having those symptoms. Okay, I want you to pretend that her oxygen saturation is 88% on bromare. Reading information in a textbook about how a patient can react or how a certain situation can affect a patient is one thing, and applying it to a real-life situation is totally different. One solution to a clinical site shortage is simulation, a vital tool being integrated into many nursing programs across the country. The expectation is simulation will not only lessen the problem, but also produce nurses who are better able to react quickly and solve problems in real life clinical situations. We're able to give our students very close personal attention and uh, provide them with a very uh, personal kind of education. But along with that, we need to make sure that we have nothing but the uh, highest technology to provide them with that education. And this sim lab would, would really demonstrate to uh, not only our students, but to the community that we're committed to providing our students with the very best and the very newest in training methods. We don't know what's going to happen in a, in a student's future. We don't know what situations they'll encounter. With a simulation laboratory, we can create a multitude of situations and train them how to respond properly. I want them to be able to work through situations and scenarios with patients so that we teach them to be critical thinkers and we teach them to work through problems on their own. If I've been trained on simulation processes, I would have a better knowing of all around what I should do for my patient right then and there. I feel that the simulation will definitely prepare me for not making it feel like they're the very first person I've ever worked with. Being able to see a birth would be huge to helping my ability to learn how to handle that situation. The simulation lab would definitely help out with that. It would actually push our program to be in the forefront and truly what will end up being the model curriculum for the entire state of Michigan when it comes to paramedic training. I feel that nurses will have the opportunity to be calmer and have a, a better approach to the situation and be able to handle it much more efficiently if they've been through it before and they've had that hands-on experience with the simulation lab. War Memorial Hospital healthcare providers will be able to enhance their skills and knowledge in order to ensure superior patient outcomes in a safe, simulated environment. Additionally, Lake Superior State University will have the means to bring a simulation program to the downtown area while continuing our collaboration with a critical clinical education partner, War Memorial Hospital. We're already doing so much to train our staff and keep them competent, and we're doing it in ways that maybe aren't getting the best outcomes or results. It's just the best that we have right now, and really what I find with that is the best that we have right now is very time intensive. Well, time is money in healthcare. These are doctors, these are nurses that we're paying to spend a lot of time to train others in a model that may not get the biggest benefit. So we're already investing in it now with without the benefits of simulation's great outcomes. The SimLab would help the new nurse learn how to assess 
a patient in a real life situation that isn't life threatening to any patients. When they come into our ER, when they come into our surgery area or any area they need care, they'll have uh, confidence that uh, these nurses and staff have been well trained and have been able to be part of a situation that might be a critical situation because of the simulation that's been provided. We'd much rather do that on mannequins and learn from that than have to learn on real people. Having a, a simulation center at the university would be a huge benefit to recruitment and retention of students. Uh, a number of the programs that uh, would have that type of experience are going to be programs that want students to be actively engaged in their community. Sioux United is a collaborative effort between the university, the hospital, the city, and the downtown, as well as other entities that's really focused on how we can bring a better collaboration between the university and the city on how we can bridge the gap between turning this community from a town with a university into a university town. Taking the nursing simulation laboratory and placing that off campus in a downtown area will have a huge impact on how people perceive the university and its impact on the community. Without a sim center, there's often not a opportunity to provide collaborative learning opportunities, such as with med students and nursing students and physical therapists. In a sim center, we're able to tailor that type of collaborative activities, which is now mandated in the current healthcare environment. And without that, we would be behind where other educational institutions are going. And we have no intention of being left behind. As we move forward, we recognize that we require the assistance of knowledgeable parties with the development and implementation of our simulation center. The Lake Superior State University Simulation Center will prepare our students for tomorrow and empower the healthcare professionals of today. A simulation center that's state of the art will benefit students, the medical community at large, and just would be a, a tremendous resource for us all. It's an opportunity for the region, for the hospital, for Lake State, for students now and into the future. So this is something that I fully support and I hope that the community will be behind us. It is our responsibility to provide our students with the best opportunity of learning how to be a nurse, of learning how to take care of patients, the best way that we can do that now involves simulations. If I had a simulation lab that could give that repetition, it would only make my skills that much better and that much more refined. I am definitely excited for the simulation lab to open up because that's one thing that I've been waiting for Lake State to do. I am excited about a simulation lab because I feel like I'm going to get a lot more experience. I can't wait to get even one semester in the sim lab before I graduate. It's not an extra, it is our responsibility. This is the way our students are learning now. They're learning by doing and simulating, and that's the best thing that we can do for them. It's gonna provide an area for our students to practice safely, so when they go out into the real world, they will know and have better outcomes and quality care to their patients. More and more is going to be expected of our hospitals and our professionals providing care for the elderly. I know it would just give me comfort to know that my nurses my practitioners and, and my professionals are very well trained and we think this simulation lab is the best way to do that. We are going to save people's lives and that might be my sister, it might be my family member. We're going to save lives through teaching new ways of taking care of patients and being more ready than we could ever be given the scenarios that we have to teach with right now without simulation. If you're looking at a sim lab from strictly the cost, then you're never going to be able to get over the cost of a sim lab. I think it's important to look at it as the cost of a nurse's license, the cost of not having enough nurses to care for the aging population, the cost of a patient dying because a nurse didn't respond fast enough because she couldn't remember or he couldn't remember all the knowledge that they learned in nursing school. I think that it's important to realize that we're not just talking about dollars, we're not just talking about the building and staff and a sim lab and plastic models, we're talking about real simulated experience on a hospital floor that will affect real living, breathing patients. Can you really say that a sim lab isn't worth the cost of a human life?